No, ladies and gentlemen, that title is not clickbait. DSP actually did this on stream. Yes, this is the quality content coming from Phil. Yeah, we're only two days into 2023, and I'm already suspecting that Phil is losing it a little bit. I know he thinks his fans will watch anything, but this is really low brow. Because he's so lazy, he decides to put up string lights on stream, so we have this whole segment. And the irony of this is that he already railed against this many, many times before about people who had string lights. And now he's going to do the exact same thing because, you know, it's a surprise. 2023 is going to be the year of surprises for DSP Gaming. Dude, okay, in real life, outside of people who are content creators, who sits down in front of their computer with dual monitors and a light shining in their face and a bunch of gone lights behind them? This is a normal setup. You sit back, you relax in a chair, you play a game, you have fun. I've always wanted to have that kind of an atmosphere in my content. I want it to be realistic. This is me playing a game, enjoying it, sharing that experience with you. This is not, oh, I'm a professional streamer, so I have to have eye candy shining behind me and the perfect lamp on my face that makes me look good. And I do makeup on my face and I comb my hair with, you know, gel every morning. I, oh, it looks so good when I play on stream for you. You're just a gamer. You're just a gamer. You play video games. Just enough with the weird enough model. We don't need it to be like a professional film studio where, you know, so, oh, fabulous. Oh, pose. Oh, slaying me. You're slaying me with your streams. No, you don't need to do that. You're like a normal human. I hate that. I really do. I hate people who are fake. And pe that's just so fake to me. Be legit. Be real. Be like a normal person playing a game, you know? But, you know, all those surprises are going to be mundane and boring because, you know, that's Phil. And he doesn't understand why he's the laughing sock of the internet because of that. And of course, DSP has a cat named Jasper, and he lets into his quote-unquote office to play. And since he got string lights, guess what the cat wants to do with it? Yeah. And he has the ingenious idea of putting it on the floor. And guess what? The cat chews on it, because that's what the cat does. And he tries to rationalize with the cat like it's a human being. But guess what? The cat isn't going to figure that out, Phil. You're either going to have to put the string lights up or kick Jasper out of the office unless you want to go to the vet. Because, you know, that could really harm the cat there. Jasper, leave it alone. You're really starting to anger me. He's got to learn. It's not a toy for him. And he, oh, it's a string. It's a toy. It's not. It's electronic. You're going to hurt yourself if you play with that. You're not to play with that. You are not to play with that. You understand? That's a no. Something new, he's got to mess with it. You know, that's how cats are. <laughs> that's just how cats are. They want to mess with everything new, but I got to yell at him because I don't want him. He's trying to bite it. If he bites it, he's going to hurt himself. So I have to yell. I don't like yelling, you know. It actually upsets me that I have to yell at him. I don't like yelling at Jasper. But I have to make sure that he's okay. I want to make sure he's not hurting himself. And he has to know that that's not good. And Jasper is probably the most positive aspect of DSP gaming. I don't know why he doesn't utilize Jasper, like have a perch near him where you can see Jasper during the stream. Because you only see Jasper's tail because you know where the camera is positioned. But Jasper is something that he has refused to monetize because he doesn't know how to do it or he doesn't want to put the work in. And you know, he's really missing out on that. And that you let the cat in, the cat will make a lot of havoc for you. But I like Jasper. Jasper, you're not going to attack the new lighting. I tell you right now, you're just not going to do it. I'm not putting up with it. It's not a toy for you. <laughs> you're not attacking it. You're not. It's not for you to attack. All right? If you start, you're going to get thrown out. And I don't want to throw you out. I just let you in. Jasper, stop. Stop chewing it. Jasper, what did I say? He's chewing it. He's going to get hurt. I don't want him to get hurt, so I got to yell at him. You're not going to chew it. Jasper, come on. I'm, just, I'm laying it out. You got to mess with it now? No, the thing about my streams is I want this to feel natural. I want this to feel like when I'm on a stream and I'm playing a game. This is normally how I play games, sitting here and just having fun. It's not, a, you know what, you tune into someone and they've got a studio light. Studio lighting, one of those ring lights on their face. It's like, what are you, a model? Like, what is this? This is not how people play games. Normal people, 
Don't sit down in front of a professional grade dual monitor setup with a ring light and neon fancy lights, crazy mood lights behind them. No one does that, no one. If someone's doing that, they're putting on a show to try to impress you into thinking that what they're doing is professional. When in reality, take a look at the actual content of the stream and tell me if it's any better than anyone else, right? If you, have, if you need all these bells and whistles and if you can't entertain an audience without having to look like a fancy model, that just, it's stupid. It's one of these gimmicks, it's one of these tricks, it's one of these strategies they use. They probably call it a best practice. It's all fluff. It has no substance at all. And people get fooled by that who are reminded. Oh, well, that person, because they got the professional ring light studio lighting and this cool neon light in the back. It must mean their streams are great. Let's give them another thousand views, another thousand dollars in donations today. Like, what are you talking about? It's so stupid. You know when you watch, well, tune in my streams, you're getting the real me. You're having a real interactive time with a real person, a real gamer. You're going to have a fun conversation. You're going to have a laugh, probably. And I don't need any of their horse. I don't need any of their stupid garbage. But Phil doesn't understand how to take care of a cat. Let's be real. I'm glad he doesn't have any kids because, you know, if he treated the kid like he treats Jasper, oh no, that would be a load of trouble. It seems like Phil is gearing up for 2023 to be his year of surprises, but... But the thing is, these surprises are going to be like dollar store decorations and things like that. You're not really going to see anything drastically change with the content whatsoever. Because, you know, his fans aren't demanding more. That's the problem. His fans will watch anything, apparently. As long as it's Phil-related. They'll just sit there and watch Phil <laughs> move around his office. It really is very sad. It's very sad. And, you know, poor Jasper Kitty not getting clean fresh air. He has to deal with the uncleanliness of the office. But yeah, I can't really with Phil. There's no way he really thinks that people outside of his five loyal viewers would find this entertaining. Oh, man. Oh, this is just... It, this is just an unraveling. This 40-year-old man has no creativity left. Okay, everyone. Titania's turning off the TV. See you all next time. Bye.